David is on the line in Colorado. Hi, David. Welcome to the Dave Ramsey Show. How can we help? Hi. Thank you, gentlemen, for taking my call. Sure. What's up? So, I don't know if you guys are aware, but Colorado just passed or is going to pass a, a bill that puts a lot of stipulations on law enforcement, and I work for a small agency, and one of those makes potentially makes the officer personally liable up to $25,000, depending on how it plays out and a lot of politics and all that stuff. Uh, so I have taken to look at what is best for me and my family to not put them in a bad position. Not that I'm doing anything wrong, but I still have to look at it, that, look at the future. Which means what? Well, means you quit. The, the, the possibility is, it, yeah, would be that I would have to walk away. Okay. And so the current environment with law enforcement mm -hmm. and with the legislatures is going to cause you to not want to be in law enforcement anymore. Is that what you're saying? That is what I'm saying. Okay. All right. So what's your next uh, next chapter? Well, I have a couple things that I could potentially do. One of them would be being a subcontractor or a contractor working for uh, a family friend of mine who runs vehicles, basically trucking vehicles from one location to the other, and I can make money doing that. Um, that sounds like feed your family. That sounds like feed your family stuff. What kind of a career will you go to now that your heart is broken on the career you thought you had and you're going to go another direction? I would ultimately like to run my own shop, rebuilding vehicles and doing restos and custom custom stuff like that, but I don't currently have the capital to just dive into that. Got it. Okay. That sounds kind of fun. Yeah. I love turning wrenches. It's it's absolutely amazing. Yeah. Especially on fun custom stuff and high-end stuff and things where you tool something. That's a, that's a, that's a little boy's dream right there, man. I'm with you. Uh, I could I could yeah, do that. Absolutely. I could love I could love doing that. Um so cool. All right. So what Ken Coleman always says is to, you know, get really clear on where you want to go and then start asking yourself uh, you know, what are the steps I've got to take to get there? And so if the dream is 5 years from now that you own a custom shop that has a great reputation and a great cash flow full of tools that are all paid for and your income is higher than it is now and you're happier, uh, then what are the steps to get there, right? Correct. So, yeah, I mean, the, the biggest part would be, you know, preparing and getting all the information I need for that mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. and tools. Mm -hmm. And luckily, we, me and my wife are debt-free. Good. So That's that fantastic. Beneficial. Good. Um, and it, it, I guess the hard part I'm having is, is walking away from something I've spent so much of my time and effort into and I, d I just don't know how to convince myself to do that right yeah well I, I i i wish i could help you with that i can't i um i mean i don't have an answer for a political climate that has shifted against your career um the way it has i don't i don't um you, you don't embrace racism chris doesn't embrace racism i certainly don't embrace racism uh but we also don't uh, embrace this idea that all police are evil people and should be all punished and should all be uh, treated like second-class yeah. citizens. So there's an in, you know, it's, it's, it's as if you have to be one or the other, uh, and the, the logic is just inconsistent. But that is the environment we live in where there's all this hyperbole and drama. Mm -hmm. And um, it's just really sad because there's a lot of good people in law enforcement are having the exact same thoughts you're having. And, um, the, you know, what are you going to do, run all the good ones off? And so, um, you know, I'm with you. My heart breaks for you, brother, but I don't know how to tell you to fix that. And I, I can't really dispute your logic. Can you get ideas? No, I, I mean, can't. David, how long have you been in law enforcement? Uh, so I'm almost on three years now, and I, I, I actually work for a very small agency. So I was blessed to uh, get a canine relatively early in my career so okay. i've been a canine officer for about mm -hmm. a year okay 
And so, you know, relatively new. And as you said, the career path just shifted for you uh, in your heart. Uh, You know, you sitting down talking to your spouse, looking at this, uh, beginning to look at the options that are open to you. Um, I definitely would not encourage you to make a knee jerk reaction, but to have a coordinated plan. Uh, But as Dave is tapping into looking at this and pursuing your passion, you're going to be a happier individual. Chasing money is fleeting and it doesn't last long. And I know you've got to feed your family, but you want to be moving in that direction. So has has this um, bill actually passed in Colorado? Uh, So it has passed the House. I am not 100 percent positive that the governor has signed it, uh, but there is. Uh, pretty much no question that he will sign it if he hasn't already today. Okay. All right. So it's pretty well a done deal. So basically the uh, a liability and um, it, personal liability is put on a law enforcement officer. And what is your income? Uh, so salary is 37650 So we pay a guy $37,000 um, uh, on K-9. And um, then you're supposed to accept liability if someone doesn't like what you do up to $25,000. And this is the state of Colorado's best idea. Correct. There, there is yeah, a I got to tell you, I think that's just department. straight up stupid. Yeah. It's sad. And I don't blame you. Um, it's wrong. It, you know, racism is not right. And cops misbehaving is not right. And, you know, obviously that's, you know, obviously yeah. you can't do these things. Uh, it's not obvious to everybody, apparently, but it's obvious to me. It's yeah. obvious to people in my building. But the um, but that's just, you know, again, th- these are people, <sighs> government trying to fix things with the wrong tools, as always. Yeah. Um, Reaching. But I'm sorry, man. I wish I could tell you that you were, had analyzed this improperly, but um, if you were my son, I'd have to tell you that you're for $37,000 a year, I'm not taking that risk. Yeah, no, uh, not as a family man. So not, not now, how are you going to get people to be police officers in Colorado? You probably can't, it's gonna unfortunately. Be very difficult. It's going to be very difficult. Or you're going to get a lot of young people that, that you know, um, are unaware. It's just a bad process, uh, and it's not a solution, Dave. It's a grab in the dark. Yeah. Now, I'm trying to do something to fix the broken parts, but um, flailing around yeah. generally breaks more than it fixes. Yeah. Oh, so sad. I'm sorry, man. I know your heart's in this, and there's a dog involved that you love, and it just it breaks my heart for you. But um, And I'm not telling you you have to do this. You called me and said you were doing it, okay? Um, so, you know, we'll support you whatever you decide to do, David. That's for sure. Thank you for calling. This is the Dave Ramsey Show.